Hello, St. Andrews, and welcome to this week's edition of Chancel Chat. It's Wednesday, the 24th of January. We've been enjoying some spring-like weather, but it looks like winter is coming back uh, sometime soon. Um, this weekend, we'll be observing the fourth Sunday after the Epiphany. The Gospel reading for this weekend will be from the first chapter of the Gospel of Mark. Uh, Mark's uh, wonderful story of Jesus uh, casting out demons from a man who was possessed in Capernaum. Um, Father Tin, our priest associate, will be preaching and presiding at the five o'clock service. Uh, immediately following our five o'clock service, I'll be meeting with our confirmation class for our monthly confirmation meeting. And then on Sunday, the 28th of January, will be our annual congregational meeting. Uh, we'll have a single service at nine o'clock in the sanctuary. Uh, in lieu of a homily, I'm going to be presenting my annual rector's report. And then immediately following the uh, liturgy in the sanctuary, we'll reconvene in the parish hall for our annual congregational meeting. Now, all congregational meetings are important, but this one is in particularly important, and we're certainly hoping and praying that a uh, large percentage of our membership will be present on Sunday morning. Uh, we'll begin the meeting a little differently than we have in the past. Uh, shortly after the devotion and opening prayer, uh, we'll be presenting a couple of presentations by our wardens uh, under the rubric of building a foundation for our future. So we'll hear a little bit more about the details of the process to search for and call the 24th rector of St. Andrew's Church. Um, as I mentioned in my letter to the congregation a couple weeks ago, I will be retiring at the end of 2000. 18, and so the process to find the next rector is already underway. Uh, also, we'll hear a little bit about the plans to repair the tower, which will begin, we hope, immediately after Easter, and uh, also a plan uh, to upgrade our facilities here at St. Andrews. So uh, important information that you want to be here to hear and process. Um, so that's Sunday, the 20, 28th of January, our annual congregational meeting. Uh, next Tuesday, Susan, myself, Jane Fisher, and three other residents of Mount Holly will meet some of our new friends and fellow pilgrims at the Newark Airport as we leave for our eight-day pilgrimage to the Holy Land. It's hard to believe that it's finally here. We've been planning this trip for over a year, and we're very, very excited about uh, uh, our uh, journey to uh, the, some of the most sacred places on the planet for our Christians. So uh, we leave on Tuesday uh, afternoon. Uh, in my absence, uh, if there is a pastoral emergency, please contact Chris in the parish office and uh, you will be put in touch with uh, a pastor who will uh, cover for me uh, during my absence. Uh, while we're away, we'll be missing one weekend here at St. Andrews, uh, the 3rd and 4th of February. Uh, supplying for me on, on Saturday evening, February 3rd, will be Father Frank Crumbaugh, who recently retired as a, a priest in our diocese. And then on Sunday morning, uh, the 4th, at both the 8 and 10 o'clock service, Father Walter Hart, who has been here before and supplied, um, I think the last time he was here was during uh, Father Shandy's sabbatical. So we'll be uh, well taken care of next weekend. And um, as I said, if there is a pastoral emergency, please contact Chris in the parish office uh, for uh, further information. Uh, and between the two services on Sunday, the 4th of February, at approximately 9 o'clock, Canon Brian Jamat, who is the Canon to the Ordinary and in charge of transition ministry in the Diocese of New Jersey, will be here at St. Andrews to engage in a conversation with the congregation about the process of searching for and calling the next rector. So we're, what we're hoping is that people who come to the eight o'clock service will stay for this meeting, and people who generally come to 10 o'clock will come a little early and participate in this important conversation with, uh, with Canon Jamaat. So uh, that's about all I have to share today, uh, wishing you and your family uh, a blessed day, and we hope to see you this weekend at our congregational meeting on Sunday. Uh, God bless you, and we'll talk again next week. I'll, I'm planning to do a, a chancel chat from somewhere in, uh, in the Holy Land.
God bless you.